The European wildcat can look quite similar to a domestic cat. It is not just a savage domestic cat, but a subspecies of its own. So usually you would need genetic evidence to tell them apart. But since this is expensive, when do you test? I am here to give you 7 features of a wildcat. Let's start with the end. The tail is thick and bushy and has a rather round tip. It has clearly distinguished black bands and the end is black. Here you see a good example. But always keep in mind, one feature by itself does not tell you anything. This is clearly not a domestic cat, but no wild cat either. Another feature of the European wildcat is its tiptoed walk. In comparison, a domestic cat is shuffling and usually does not lift its feet very high. A third feature is the narrow dorsal band. This dark line ends before the tail. In house cats, the stripe often continues down into the tail's pattern. A clear fur pattern in the neck is another feature. You can usually distinguish several dark stripes. The coat pattern of adult wildcats is not very clear on the flanks. The lines seem rather blurred. Wildcats have a pale patch on the throat. The color of the muscle is bright and rather pink, but never black like some domestic cats. These features apply to areas where hybridization is not very common. For example, in Switzerland, inbreeding between the two subspecies of domestic cat and wild cat happens more often. This is why a genetic analysis is necessary. The only other way is to analyze morphological characteristics of a cat that was found dead. But I prefer them alive. Subscribe and have a good day.